So our next presenter is a four-time Screen Actors Guild Award winner who received five consecutive Emmy nominations for his magnificent portrayal of John Carter on ER. Please welcome Noah Wiley, everybody. Good evening. <clears throat> I feel very honored to be here tonight. I will confess up front, I've always been a little bit in awe of John Wells since the very first day that we met. I was uh, 21 or 22, and even though he's only about 15 years older than me, he was an adult. He was a Carnegie graduate, he was married, he was a homeowner, and he just completed a successful run as a writer-producer on China Beach and was about to start ER. Meanwhile, I was, as my parents like to put it, none of those things. <laughs> I was <laughs> sort of a classic underachiever trying to figure out how to keep a cat and a ficus alive, and one of them was fake. <laughs> um, what John gave me, aside from the part that changed my life, uh, was something to aspire to. And probably unbeknownst to him, he's become much more than a boss and a friend. Today, as we search for integrity and strong leadership in Hollywood, in the nation, and around the world, I can honestly say that I experienced firsthand what great leadership looks like. Great leaders make whatever and whomever they touch better. John's compassionate, confident manner and uncanny ability to decisively guide uncertain waters served him well through two terms as president of the Writers Guild West, while his creative and managerial talents brought into being some of prime time's biggest, most talked about, most awarded, most critically acclaimed hits. ER, The West Wing, Shameless, Southland, Third Watch. In addition to seven Writers Guild nominations, the series and miniseries he's produced have received more than 300 Emmy nominations, and won more than 60 Emmys. John has personally been nominated for the Emmy 25 times, taking six statues home to go with his five Peabody's, five PGA Awards, the Humanities Prize, the DGA Award, the WGA's Patty Chayefsky Laurel Award, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> he is the comeback kid who returns again and again with another timely contribution and always with something relevant to say. It is a pleasure for me to welcome into the Television Academy Hall of Fame my friend, my mentor, Mr. John Wells. I, uh, I managed to miss the deadline for the teleprompter. That's, that's not unusual in my life. So uh, you're going to have to watch me, actually. I, I do this better anyway. Um, thank you, Noah, and, uh, and everyone at the Academy, and help pretty much everybody I've ever known in the business because it takes a very large village to raise a writer. Um, making television shows is a team sport. Some of us get more of the attention than we deserve, but as I receive this tremendous and unexpected honor, I want you to see the thousands of creative partners that came together to make a few shows that we were all lucky enough to get to work on. I started to make a list of people I wanted to thank tonight and then realized how many people there were that are deserving of my gratitude for all their hard work on my behalf. And thanks to IMDB, I, uh, I tallied a few numbers up. Um, I've had the great good fortune to work with 8,048 actors over the last 25 years, 139 writers, 172 directors. All of us working together to make over 900 hours of television most of which we're pretty proud of. Um, and nobody does that by themselves. Um, I'm gonna take a minute to mention a few names because they really stand out because we've been together through so much of it. <clears throat> you know, Chris Chulak and Mimi Leader, Lydia Woodward and Carol Flint, Rod Holcomb and Tommy Shalami and Nancy Pemintal and Krista Varnoff, my friend Michael Crichton, Aaron Sorkin and Neil Bear and Mike Mylod. John Young, Anthony Hemingway, my brother, and Mike Hisrick, Ed Bonero, John Lisko, all the people who work with me at the company, uh, Andrew Stern, and Ned Haspel, and Jenny Howe, and Kristen Martini, and Claire Polstein, Peter Roth, and everybody at Warner Brothers. I've been there since June 1st, 1986. It was my first real paycheck in the business, and I've been there ever since. CAA, uh, everybody over there introduced me to Michael Crichton and Aaron Sorkin. Uh, and then all of the fantastic actors, Dana Delaney and Mark Helgenberger and Chloe Webb, and Chloe Webb came back to work on Shameless, Noah and Tony and George and Juliana, Eric and Sherry and Maura Turney and everybody who came after. Bill Macy was on ER, 
So was Brad Whitford. I got to work with Allison Janney and Martin Sheen and Richard Schiff and jo Janelle Maloney and Josh Molina with my friend John Spencer on three shows, and I still miss him every day. Mary McCormick was fantastic on AR and better still on West Wing. David Nutter's directed everything. So was Alec Graves and Laura Ennis. I think Sean Hattesey is brilliant on ER and even better than that on Southland and now terrifyingly good on Animal Kingdom. We work together as a team, as a group, doing things together. Regina King was a revelation on Southland and so was Michael Cudlitz. Bill Macy and Emmy Rossum and Shanola and Emmy and Izzy and everybody, the rest of the gang on Shameless uh, where we get to have a ridiculously good time. Ben, Robinson, ben Robeson's Extraordinary on Animal Kingdom and Al, uh, Alicia Silverstone's wonderful in a show that we're doing that isn't even on the air yet. My wonderfully understanding wife, Marilyn, is here along with my son, Jack. Um, I couldn't do any of this without them, their patience and love and listening to me whine about how I'm not talented and I can't write another word and what was I doing all day wasting my time sitting in front of my computer. Uh, they listen to it all and, and, uh, and are kind to me when I need kindness. It's been an embarrassment of riches, friendships, hard work, laughter, pride in what we do. There's been a lot going on of late in the business. Sexual and workplace harassment in the industry has been tolerated for much too long. It's finally coming out from the shadows and into the light. We're all asking what we can do about it, and it's simple. It's long past time for us all to demand integrity in our working relationships, respect and honesty for all of our peers equal opportunity for everyone regardless of their gender or race because we're all in this together. It's a privilege what we get to do. It's on us to ensure that everyone we work with is valued and safe to pursue their dreams and their ambitions. Most of all, I hope I get to keep doing this for a while longer. Um, working with the people I love, telling stories we care about. Thank you, every one of you, for making it possible for me to keep hanging around. It's been a complete pleasure. Thank you.